Hey, what's going on? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thanks for watching my video. I got a question for you. Uh, I'm about to paint this Miata here this weekend, all right? And I am in the process of molding my lip spoiler on the trunk, and I want to know what you want to see, okay? Uh, two options. First option is... Should I mold it? See, this is all epoxied on, okay? It's already epoxied on. Now, the question is, should I mold it with a finger mold? Like, you know, we'll have the trunk and then we'll have a nice little lip mold in here. And then, you know, it'll just be like a finger mold. You know, you'll see a little lip down the whole line, but it'll be a nice even lip done with my finger, okay? Getting that nice edge. Of course, we'll probably use a block, go back and forth like this to, to really flatten it out uh, but and the other the other idea is to to mold the back in uh, if you see it like that to the trunk so basically fill all of that in so it so the trunk basically blends in to the to this high point right in here of the lip spoiler right what do you want to see comment below on the video let me know what you want to see, and that's what I'll do, all right? It's going to take me a little longer to do it because I have to fill that whole area there, as you see, right? I have to fill what you see there with the light, okay, up to here, basically, uh, and feather it all into the trunk and block it and make it look like one piece. The back here, I already decided I'm going to just do a finger mold here because it's going to look funny if I kind of do something else. So I think this looks pretty cool in the back. I might build it up a little and then I'll have a finger mold, you know, mold it, but we'll have a, like a little, a U shape in here. But it's here, all right? Let me know, feather it, completely feather into the trunk or finger mold, you tell me. Uh, highest vote wins, uh, you know, whoever's telling me to, to, to they wanna see this style of a mold, you know, like a complete, complete mold in the trunk. That's what I'll do, and I'll record the process and show that to you, all right? So it's Tony from Learn Auto Body and Paint. Thanks for letting me know about that. Uh, do it quick, because within the next two, three days, I'm going to be painting this thing. And tomorrow, uh, I will probably be, tomorrow's Friday, Saturday. Friday or Saturday, I will be doing this mold. So let me know really quick. And if this is your first time watching my videos, check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com to get more free information. Uh, learn about DIY auto body and how you could, you know, customize your cars, whatever you're working on. I don't care if it's a classic or uh, a little beater, you know, a little, little Miata or whatever you're working on. Know exactly how to prep and paint and customize your cars yourself so you don't have to go spending crazy amounts of money in an auto body shop uh, because prices are crazy and you can do it yourself. If it's a, a passion of yours, you want to learn it, you're a hands-on guy, you could absolutely do it. So check out Learn Auto Body and Paint right now uh, and get your free 85-page auto body manual. Sign up for the free newsletter and get a bunch of different goodies. All right, it's Tony. Talk soon. Comment below and let me know. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.